A crackdown on masking up. Starting on Wednesday, North Carolina's mask mandate could have criminal penalties. The policy was first started in June, but because of the spike in case numbers and what officials called pandemic fatigue, the governor says it's time to take it a step further. Vanessa Rufus joins us to explain the changes. The new mask mandate says that noncompliance can be treated as a class two misdemeanor, which in North Carolina is on par with resisting an officer or carrying a concealed weapon. At Fourth Ward Barber in Styling Millennium, business is humming along. Master Barber Woody Daniel hopes things stay that way, but he knows that depends on how the coronavirus numbers go. You know, you need to protect yourself, protect your family, protect the people that's around you. And right now, the numbers aren't good. There's significant viral spread statewide, and a fifth of North Carolina's counties are in what state officials call the red zone with critical levels of COVID. The governor issuing a new executive order meant to build on current protections without closing the economy further. This is deadly serious. Before, you had to mask up within six feet of another. Now, masking is required at all times indoors even if you are social distancing. That means you now have to mask when sitting at a restaurant table, but not actively eating or drinking, and while working out inside a gym. The new order also brings more enforcement. Before only businesses could get a citation, now anyone can be punished, and to the tune of up to 60 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Daniel says it sounds tough, but it might be the only way to get more to comply. You know, that's the only way we want to get the numbers down. You know, just be serious about this thing. And the new order is set to begin on Wednesday at 5 p.m. It's in effect until at least December 11th. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.